guys, we're leaving Switzerland to go to Germany because we want to visit a very special castle that inspired Disney's logo and the castle in Sleeping Beauty, so stay tuned. So interesting to cross borders and you're not even sure if you have. We went through Austria and we think that now we're in Germany to get to the place that I'm talking about um, and on the way we see the lake Bodensee it's called Constance but in Germany it's famous as Bodensee and it's a big lake that's actually bordering with three countries and which are Austria, Germany and Switzerland and it consists of two um, parts that are connected the upper part and the lower part and it's actually being um, the water is coming from the river Rhine and that's the Rhine waterfalls that we already saw in the previous videos if you haven't checked that out be sure to see it we already passed by the lake you guys I'm sorry I wasn't able to film it but it's a very popular tourist destination, very popular for swimming and sailing and the whole path that circles it, it's around 260 kilometers so a lot to walk and a lot to see So this is the map of the place, this is the way that you do by foot, from here ba, 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 to the castle, the other way is by bus, you take it, you have like 10 minutes with the bus, but then you have like 15 minutes walking to the castle, and the two best spots for the view are those two put on the map. You can get that map from the ticket office but basically that's it. And there are different routes here showed based on the time that you're gonna spend walking. And there are two castles actually but we're here for Neuschwanstein. We're expecting first we're doing lunch and then our ticket is in two hours and we're hoping to get the bus first and then walking after because the next few hours it's gonna rain so we hope to skip the rain by taking the bus and go inside the castle. The schnitzel was great and now it's time to take a bus. It leaves every 20 minutes and it costs 3 euro. We heard such thunders that it's just terrifying. I, all I know is I'm not leaving the bus if there's a storm. We're gonna be eating the strudel after all because it sure did, started raining and like the thunders were horrific and we took the bus down, we went up and then we took the same bus straight down. I really hope that in an hour or so it's gonna clean up so that we're able to see the castle but if we're not, we're not. Let's see. At least the shoes are almost perfect. Weather changes here like in few minutes, like a couple of minutes. But right is so nice that we're gonna try it for the third time. The weather looks much better now. I don't know about the castle, but that view is definitely worth it. <laughs> so the entrance to the castle is possible only with guided tours. You can either have a guided tour that's 
audio tour and you choose the language when you book the ticket online or there's a tour that says English or, or German which I guess should be with the tour guide having mind inside they have written on their website that recording or photos are not allowed so I think we are gonna be with a tour guide so I'll be able to ask if we cannot oh, I'm so very tired uh, if we cannot take any photos and videos sorry guys I'm gonna try to get to the views to show you the castle from the outside oh my god do you see the paraplaner? it's almost down one of them and there's the other one the castle was commissioned by uh, King Ludwig II of Bavaria to be built and it was inspired, I mean, it was built in honor of Richard Wagner, the composer and Ludwig actually decided to pay for it with his own money and extensive borrowing and not to use the public money the castle was intended to be a private residency for the king and the building started in 1869 but unfortunately the king died just before it was finished and opened to the public which was in 1886 since it was built 61 million people have visited the castle with as many as over 1.3 million per year and sometimes during summertime even over 6,000 people Per day, so people book your tickets in advance, especially if you're coming in the summer. In our case, we bought tickets in advance. We lost them because we couldn't reach them because I got scared of the thunders. So we had to buy another set of tickets and we bought them again online. And not to mention the bus that actually we took it up then we took it down but we weren't planning to take it down so we we're planning to walk down because it's easier but we paid like six euro for both of us so three euro per person one way then three euro per person the other way and now we booked a ticket that it's the two-way ticket and it's overall seven euro instead of 12. so have that in mind that the round tour the round tour is much cheaper and we booked our tickets online because we were scared that they're gonna finish because online in the morning they had all the like many spots like 12 spots or something and later in the afternoon, right after we got off the bus, they only had for this slot that we have in here, that is one of the last slots for the day. That's the view from the terrace. So we really couldn't film inside. And these people are German. When they say that there are rules you about, you're gonna follow them, I mean. <laughs> so. Uh, some interesting things that we learned because we did have a tour guide and he was speaking in English so we managed to understand things um, so the king actually managed to live a little bit here like over 100 days I think 175 75 but let's say over 100 days and he was actually planning to build it for three years but unfortunately it took 17 years to build uh, on one hand because it is quite a steep and difficult location and also the work is super intrigue intriguing like such detail it was amazing i've never seen anything like that anywhere we traveled not on, only on that road trip but um other times as well and also the king ran out of money several times so it was a difficult thing to build right after the king died like six weeks or so afterwards it was open to the public to be uh, the museum and the place that we see Re restoration is going on all the time and i really haven't seen anything preserved like that 
like the colors in the paintings it was amazing and they said that the artists that are renovating it actually when they were renovating it it was much more about taking out dust and dirt and really little painting evolved so they were pretty much kept in a great condition and they most of the time needed just some cleaning okay so this is really the best view you go on the bridge then to this view right there and then a little bit up on the trees There was some mystery concerning the death of the king. There was like a committee or something like that that they declared him unfit for ruling because he had a main mental illness according to them. I don't know, I don't know, <laughs> but... Um, and then they moved him to another castle and two days later he was found dead, drowned with his psychiatrist on a place where the water was up to the waist and the king was famous for I mean he was a good swimmer so there's some mystery theories about his death this thing in my palm someone's been here I guess Anne and Andy Which is ultra unsettling. Everybody was stopping to take a picture and here it is what they're looking at. do in Germany we go to an Asian restaurant and this one was recommended by the Michelin guide and it smells amazing the name is Amy that's really it for today you guys um, we're very sleepy I'm going to bed but tomorrow we're gonna take a look at uh, Mühen and we can I cannot wait to take you on the trip thank you for being here for commenting for liking for subscribing and see you next time in our next video bye